Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how I built my solar shower and show you how it works. Materials I used were two 1 meter lengths of 100mm PVC, a T-piece with a cap on it, two end caps, a tyre valve, a tap and a water tank tap adapter. I started out by cleaning and prepping all the joins with a PVC priming fluid. Because I plan on pressurising my solar shower, I've used a pressure rated PVC bonding cement. I spread an even layer on each side of my joints. I then made my connections and applied firm pressure for 30 seconds. I then left each joint to stand for 5 minutes before moving on to the next one and repeating the process. I drilled one of the end caps and installed my tap and tyre valve before installing it. I also added a 45 degree bend. I figured with that end I could bring the tap down a bit lower just to make sure I could get every drop of water out of the uh, solar shower once it was finished. I also covered the whole thing in a black rubberized coating to ensure maximum heat absorption and to hopefully make sure the thing lasts longer. We also had to make sure the o-ring was installed in the cap to ensure no leaks or pressure loss. I also bought a cheap 15 metre coil up hose which included this hose adapter and a nice spray nozzle. I had to cut the hose in half because 15 metres was just a little bit too much for what I needed. This solar shower was going to be mounted on the top of a dual cab ute which naturally leans forward. So the idea of the fill point being in the middle is when I fill it up and it appears full there's still a decent head of air in the back, ensuring when I pressurise it, it stays pressurised for a little bit longer. The completed unit holds about 16 litres of water, which is quite enough for two people to have a decent wash off after swimming at the beach and still have enough water left over to clean off any gear that's needed. The other advantage of having a removable cap is the unit can be used as a gravity fed shower if required. In future I also plan to add a pressure relief valve to the top cap so I can relieve all the air pressure without actually losing any water. I attach the shower to my roof rack before I fill it with water, otherwise it's just a little bit too awkward to handle. When I'm ready to use the unit, I'll pressurise it to around 30 psi, hook up the hose and it's ready to go. While not quite being mains water pressure, the unit's capable of producing a reasonable spray of water and with the multifunction hose nozzle can be used as either a shower or produce a reasonable jet of water as well. Being a nice 28 degree day here, the water inside the unit was able to reach a quite comfortable temperature after just a few hours in the sun. I'll be interested to see how the unit performs throughout the winter months. Well that's about it from me, hope you found this video useful. Leave your ideas, comments and suggestions in the comments down below. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.